During the month of November, Smale Auto Group is holding a food drive called the Smale 500. We're collecting food and monetary donations for the Westmoreland County Food Bank with the goal of feeding 500 local families this holiday season. Today, we're going to the food bank to learn more about their operation and to see how your donations will go to help people in need. Right now, uh, the Westmoreland County Food Bank uh, feeds 16,500 people each month, roughly 7,200 families. We do it through a network of 45 food pantries and roughly 17 on-site feeding programs. Uh, in a given year, last year, for example, we distributed 7.5 million pounds of food. As I mentioned, about one-fourth of that is fresh produce. So we try to provide as much nutritious food as we possibly can with the dollars that we have. As we walked through, we, we went through a couple different sections. We saw the, like loading areas, staging areas. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the operation of this facility? This facility here is generally the distribution point for those 45 food pantries. Uh, we have a fleet of refrigerated trucks that uh, once a month make a delivery to the pantry. We design a food box that's essentially uniform for every recipient in the county. So the person at the beginning of the month is essentially going to get the same thing as the person at the end of the month when their distribution is. So so that, uh, that order is put together in the warehouse, pieced together, and then goes out on a refrigerated truck and is delivered either the day of or the day before the distribution at that pantry. In addition to that, as I mentioned, we have Operation Fresh Express, which uh, allows uh, you know additional foods that we get in that have to be distributed right away. Once a week we have a mobile food pantry that goes out to some site in the county uh, where uh, this food can be distributed. As, and this is food essentially in the past what it ended up in landfills. And as I mentioned, since 1999 it's kept about 10 million pounds of food out of uh, landfills and, and given out to, to individuals that can consume it. You were telling on the tour that 95 cents of every dollar actually goes towards the operation and, and, and things like that. Can you tell us a little bit more about how the money's spent, where is it going, and things like that? We're able to purchase product at, re at, at wholesale prices are better, um, and we're not permitted to purchase pop candy or gum. Anytime that anything like that is distributed, it's because it's been donated. Um, we do receive funds from the State Food Purchase Program and the Emergency Food Assistance Program we actually receive product from. So the money that the people donate, we're able to purchase additional product over and above what we get for for grants so really as Chris said you know 95 cents of every dollar goes right back out the door but for every dollar that's donated we're actually able to purchase ten dollars worth of food so that's how you can see the how the bang for the buck it's easier for us to purchase the food um, or more cost-effective sometimes off the cuff we get calls from people that are like you know I've been on all I've been drinking all day is coffee for three days I'm like oh we've, we've really got in a severe emergency situation here so. And we've been seeing a lot of that lately. Um, a lot of people contacting us with some really um, different circumstances in their lives. So we're able to put together emergency boxes as necessary, uh, at, you know, especially for situations like that where they haven't eaten for days. Um, and then we get them hooked up to a pantry site that's closer to where they live or to where they work. Ignorance is one of the biggest obstacles we run up against. People don't realize how to uh, go about signing up for even our services. Uh, let alone food stamps. And what is the website or phone number that people could contact if they do need assistance? Um, the, the website is westmorelandfoodbank.org and the phone number is 724-468-8660. People could go there to see if they qualify for the, uh, the assistance, right. but also to find out how they could contribute right. to. The, you, you could go and figure out where your, uh, uh, lo your local pantry is, how to, what, the qualifi what qualifications are to sign up for services. If you want to make donations, you can do it directly through the website itself. So it's not only food, like actual non-perishable things, you could actually donate money, you could set up recurring monthly payments, things like that. Yes, you can set up recurring monthly payments uh, with your credit card. Um, and then also I'm getting signal from the sidelines here that I, it would be remiss if I did not mention it's also a way to learn how to volunteer. Uh, we we uh, rely very heavily on volunteers, as I mentioned last year, roughly 7,000 volunteers donated around 100,000 hours of time. As director of volunteers, which is a monumental job because there's 7,000 of them, um, I don't know them all, but they are wonderful, extraordinary people, the ones that I have met along the way. Um, the volunteers help us with uh, sorting food here at the warehouse and um, also help at the pantry level. Uh, they help with food drives, um, and they also sometimes pick corn for us even. Yeah. We always say the face <laughs> of hunger would definitely surprise you. Um, the people that are there that are asking for help um, are, are in desperate times, and there are people that look just like you, look just like me. And contrary to popular belief, the majority of the new people that we're seeing are the working poor. 
And there are people that are out there that are working 40 hour work weeks or 20 hour work weeks and they're still not able to make ends meet um, for their household size. Um, and it's, it's, it's sad. One thing I always point out to people is that uh, the holidays, everybody thinks that hunger ends uh, December 31st. People are just as hungry in January as they are during the holiday season. Well, I came on board here not realizing that uh, hunger was an issue in the community and uh, it really is. When you go out to see the people that we're distributing, which we get the opportunity to do once in a while, staff people, um, it really opens your eyes to the fact that hunger does exist here, there is a need, um, and that m most people are not taking advantage of us. Um, they really do have that need, and it's important for us to do what we're doing. I feel good at my job and, and providing the services that we do to those people that are in need out there. Thank you to Chris, Jennifer, Louise, and everyone at the Westmoreland County Food Bank. Be sure to go to westmorelandfoodbank.org or find them on Facebook to help them fight hunger in our local area. And again, you can also participate in the Smale 500 by dropping off non-perishable goods at any Smale location or by making a monetary donation at service checkout. This has been Smale Auto Presents Cars in the Community.